Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a ASOS unboxing haul. I'll be really honest, I was really sceptical and kind of umming and eyeing whether I should do this video or not because obviously the world is going through such a big problem right now and it's affecting so many of us and it's quite a depressing time right now. I'm pretty sure the last thing on a lot of people's minds is online shopping like I I think after this haul after I've shown you guys what I've bought I'm not going to be doing online shopping for a while unless it's stuff that I really need because it's not a priority right now is it it's like the world's going through a pandemic and I'll be honest every single day I've been really anxious and really kind of like uncertain because Obviously, um, I do bridal makeup, so a lot of weddings have been cancelled, so a lot of my jobs have been cancelled. Um, content creating, I can't go out and about to get content. I stopped doing kind of like sit down hauls like this because I generally didn't buy a lot at a time. So I would do like, as you guys have seen, I would do more come shopping with me so that you guys can still see what's in the shops without me over buying and over spending. But obviously time's different now and I think that after this haul, um, yeah you might not see a haul for a while. So I bought this ASOS um, box of stuff before everything got really serious. We wasn't told to stay in, we wasn't told to social distance, um, even though I was aware of how serious it was. Like, oh, I don't know, I don't, like even just talking about it makes me depressed. Um, but I did want to, since it's been sat on my hallway for over uh, a week now and I did want to open it and, and you know look at the stuff that I've bought and unbox it so I thought I'd just sit down with you guys and do an unboxing with you guys because if this short video can give you a bit of distraction and a bit of joy from watching someone's random unboxing you know haul then I hope it can do that because right this moment in time I'm sure that a lot of people are feeling anxious and uncertain so if this can be a distraction from your daily life of looking on twitter reading the news you know all that kind of thing because i know that i've that's what i've been constantly doing so even filming this haul and just sitting down to do it is giving me a bit of distraction from you know what's going on outside so yeah i hope you enjoy it and i hope you don't feel like i'm being insensitive or like turn deaf because I'm definitely not. I'm definitely in the same boat as a lot of people. Like I'm losing out on work and you know, I have a child at home with me constantly now. So everything's all up in the air. So without further ado, I'm gonna unbox this video. Video? I'm gonna unbox this parcel. Not gonna lie, when the first man delivered it to me, the first thing I did was Dettol spray it and it's been sat in my hallway for a week. I was just waiting for that um, Dettol spray to kick in. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't take a week, but you know, I was really anxious. I've just, like, this week has been crazy. Um, so I'm finally going to open it. I didn't buy too much because, like I said, I bought this parcel, like, over 10, 10 days or two weeks ago now. And it was still really cold in London. It still is. Um, so I didn't go to town on buying lots of like spring gear because I knew that the weather wasn't appropriate yet and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on stuff that I might not be able to wear yet. So I only bought a few things but I thought it's worth showing you guys anyways, you know, a bit of distraction. I'm going to start with the smaller items. The first item I bought was The Ordinary. This is the Neocinamide. Neocinamide. Um, I'm not sure if that is how you pronounce it. Um, let's focus that. Do your magic. This is apparently really good for oily skin. And I'm planning to use this underneath my makeup when I'm going for a dewy look. When I go for a dewy makeup look, I need my skin to be under control because I have oily skin. So if I have oily skin and I'm going for a dewy look by midday I just look like an oily mess so hopefully this will um, help control my oil it's like a serum so I'm just going to put it on before my moisturizer and hopefully that will you know um, give me a bit of mattifying when it comes to 
doing a dewy makeup look because when I do a dewy makeup look I like my makeup products to be the dewy thing not my greasy oily skin <laughs> um, and ordinary you can't go wrong with ordinary it's really affordable and all of their products that I've tried so far work really 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 well so if you're looking for a affordable skincare range then the ordinary is definitely something to look into but do your research as well because there's a lot of ingredients that you don't mix together or shouldn't be using on certain skin skin types so definitely do your research there's a lot of research out there if you just like google it and then the next thing i bought holy grail powder laura mercier translucent loose setting powder i actually bought this to go into my makeup kit so that i can use it on clients but now i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to you know touch a client's face so this is just going to be a backup I guess and actually ASOS was doing 20% off I forgot to mention that that's why I placed this order and that's why I got my makeup from ASOS because when they're doing 20% off I think that's the best deal for makeup and skincare because a lot of places do offers like John Lewis is always on offer but it's only 15% so when ASOS do 20% um, off it's actually a really good deal so I always take advantage of that and then I bought a pair of earrings from and other stories these were in the sale I think they were like 11 pounds but then I got another 20% off so it's quite a good deal and oh is that broken oh no it's not it just came undone so they're these kind of like hoops but then they've got detail on the hoops it's not a plain hoop and I thought these were really pretty and I think originally they were about £20, so I thought the price was good. And as you can tell, I only wear gold hoops um, now, especially big ones. I like the big chunky ones, but without being too big. You know, these are quite chunky and big, but they're not like too, like, too much going on. So yeah, these are definitely going to be a staple. You'll probably see me wearing these a lot from now on. And then I've got four pieces of clothing, all from Stradivarius. If you guys don't know that Stradivarius is under the same brand as Sara and Bershka, Pull&Bear. So a lot of the styles that you see in Sara, you can probably find them for cheaper in places like Stradivarius. Um, it's a bit like H&M and say for example, H&M and Andover Stories, that kind of like sisterly Five, where you can find similar things but the quality might be just a little bit different but so having said that server quality isn't that great anymore so I'm pretty sure that these are probably going to be like similar quality so I've got a pair of straight fit jeans and these are kind of like a washed black um, I have a straight fit jean from Topshop they're my absolute favorite blue jean um, I always get questions about where my jeans are from when I wear those and I thought it would be wise to invest in a kind of like a charcoal washed black pair because I have a lot of black jeans but I don't have any straight jeans and I got these in a size 8. So these are the jeans. I feel like I should have got a size smaller. These are a size 8 and as you can see it's quite gappy so maybe a size 6 would have been better. And the length, I might have to cut a little bit shorter because they're a little bit too long for me. But in terms of style and kind of like colour. <coughs> oh, bless me. So next up, I got a top. Uh, this is actually really pretty. I was looking forward to receiving this. But to be honest, it is still really cold and we can't go outside anyways. So um, this is definitely one for kind of like summer it's like a polka dot sheer top and let me just take this off so all of the clothes that I got are in a size small or a size 8 if possible and it's quite low so I'm probably gonna have to wear like a crop top underneath this is the top I just have a strapless bra on right now I think I definitely have to wear like a bralette or something um, but it is so pretty and so cute Definitely something that I would wear during spring summer. Again, I would probably toughen it up with like jeans or some kind of like leathery trousers or something. It is a really pretty top. I love it. It's absolutely me. 
um, when it comes to as girly as it gets. So I bought this polka dot dress. I thought it was really pretty and it's kind of like a flirty dress and at the bottom it's got an extra panel of floatiness and all of these were not that expensive and especially with the 20% discount it worked out to be quite affordable. Um, the quality of these clothes are actually quite good. So this is the dress on, it could definitely do with a belt, I think it's quite flirty and a little bit too baggy here, I think if it was cinched in it would look a lot better but it is such a pretty dress, the colour is perfect and the length is perfect for me because um, I'm only five foot three, I thought it might be a little bit long but it's actually not that long and I would probably wear this dress with some sort of like biker boots and a leather jacket to kind of like toughen it up because um, I'm not really a girly girl even though I like wearing dresses I'm not like girly girly so I would wear it with yeah leather jacket and biker boots and probably like a lot more jewellery but yeah it's a really pretty dress, I like it so last but not least I bought a jumper because it is still really chilly actually is this a jumper is this a yeah it's a jumper I thought it was a cardigan at first um, it's this camel coloured high neck wide um, jumper I thought that this jumper would look really good with a pair of straight jeans and a pair of like ankle boots just like really casual and even when the weather gets a little bit warmer I can still wear it with just without a coat so yeah let's try this on but so not least we have this jumper which I absolutely love the neck is so pretty look at that neckline and then the jumper itself is a really nice colour it's kind of like a little bit fluffy um, but it's not the ones where you kind of like lose all the you know fluff um, I would definitely tuck it in because it looks too wide and baggy on its own. That's it. That looks way better um, once it's tucked in. With just a pair of jeans. Yeah, I like this jumper. Definitely keeping this jumper. It's really comfy as well, like it's really soft. So that comes to the end of my haul. If this video provided you a bit of distraction and a bit of joy from what's going on right now, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys you know, want me to film more videos. And I think from here on, until things are kind of settled, um, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more vlogs. And I know that you guys love the vlogs. So hopefully it will, you know, bring a bit of distraction and a bit of joy to your staying at home isolation days. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and a little bell will notify you when there's a new video up. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot more videos to come, mainly vlogs and I also wanna do a mukbang as well because, you know, I'm at home all the time and I eat twice or three times a day sometimes. So if you're just like sitting down and doing a mukbang and answering some of like your questions or talking about daily life stuff, because I have a lot to say on this situation. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, then I'm more vocal about what's going on in the world on Twitter. I want YouTube to be a positive space for me and also Instagram as well. I'm doing a lot more videos on Instagram in terms of beauty. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch up with you guys very soon. Stay positive. Send in love. Bye.